case is of a 64-year-old gentleman who presents with some headache, uh, some visual uh, abnormalities, has a left eye uh, in some confusion. Uh, he eventually is evaluated by head CT and is shown to have an occipital lesion uh, on the right side. He um, subsequently has an evaluation of his chest, initially by chest X-ray and then by chest CT, which shows a 2.2 centimeter uh, left lower lobe mass associated with some mediastinal adenopathy. Um, a PET scan is subsequently done and it shows in addition to the left lower lobe mass in the mediastinal disease, several bony sites which are highly suggestive of metastatic disease. Uh, he ends up having a biopsy of the uh, left lower lobe lesion that shows a moderately differentiated adenocarcinoma on immunohistochemical staining. It is positive for TTF1 and morphologically consistent with adenocarcinoma. Uh, he is a current non-smoker, uh, but did have a 30-pack year exposure to smoking in the past, uh, having quit about five years ago. Uh, he, his uh, adenocarcinoma biopsy was tested for uh, EGFR, ALK, and ROS1, uh, and they were all negative. Uh, he also had a PDL1 uh, stain that showed it to be about 15% staining percentage. Um, and um, uh, in follow up to his CT scan of the brain, he had an MRI uh, of the brain in addition to the uh, occipital lesion that was noted, there were also eight millimeter lesions in the left frontal lobe as well as right uh, temporal lobe. Uh, so he had three uh, total lesions in the brain. Uh, this patient obviously has stage four adenocarcinoma of the lung. My impression is, is that this uh, patient has been well evaluated. Um, we are confident about his stage, uh, given the bony metastases as well as the brain metastases. We are also confident about the diagnosis, both from a histologic point of view as well as genetic point of view. He was tested uh, per current uh, NCCN and other guidelines for EGFR, ALK, and ROS1. We also have established his PDL1 status as being 15% positive. So I would say my impression is that this gentleman was, had a very thorough evaluation. We're confident about the stage and we're confident about the diagnosis as well as the molecular aspects of his uh, uh, lung cancer. Well, in stage four adenocarcinoma of the lung, we believe this is a treatable disease, um, a, but not a curable disease. Uh, this gentleman had an ECOG performance status of one which means that he was fully ambulatory and caring for himself. He would have likely, because of his CNS symptoms and the findings on both the CT and the MRI, be put on uh, dexamethasone, a steroid that would have controlled some of the symptoms. Um, his uh, initial treatment uh, should be directed at the CNS disease since he was uh, initially symptomatic there. Um, the prognosis of this patient, again, I mentioned he's not a curable patient, but a treatable patient given his good performance status. We'll talk about the options a little bit later, but nowadays these patients on average live um, a year or a little longer. Uh, about 25% of them live longer than two years. Um, so um, the prognosis, I would describe it as limited, uh, but certainly patients with the multiple options that we have nowadays uh, are living longer and longer because of multiple lines of treatment.